not recording it, but watch it lively. 49 years, that is absolutely incredible. We thank Rose for talking to us and wish her well in her retirement, but she's being energetic watching athletics. Um, right now, though, let's get a check on the weather, shall we? And it's over to Elizabeth, who's joined us. Love the look of the daisies. Because it's oh. been quite a nice start to the week, really, hasn't it? Thank you. Well, it, yes. Oh. I feel like Your it face says no. <laughs> I didn't enjoy the weather today. It was so grey. It was really cloudy. I went on the school run and it started drizzling. I was like, what's this? This is the front coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, it was just grey. It was cloudy. I love this photo just because there's some green in it, a little bit of colour, because this was how most of us spent the day just underneath quite a lot of low cloud but nice picture of the rooftops of Nelson's column there of course as we head through the next couple of days or so I think we will see a little bit more in the way of brightness and although it was great it's actually bang on average temperatures for this time of year 12 13 degrees celsius it is still mild as we head through the rest of the week it's certainly mild by night at the moment and tomorrow we could see 17 or 18 degrees but it will be turning colder a lot colder from friday onwards we could possibly see some nighttime frost in terms of wet weather there will be some showers around at times but lots of dry weather around as well now this is the situation overnight tonight could still be a few showers perhaps across parts of bedfordshire hertfordshire in particular but I think there'll be a lot of cloud around, perhaps a few outbreaks of drizzle into tomorrow morning still. Temperatures for some dropping back to high single figures, but for many 10 or 11 degrees. So it's not cold by any stretch. It's, it's a mild start to the day tomorrow. And tomorrow we've got weather fronts just going up towards the north and the east. Um, some, uh, some outbreaks of rain possibly again for Bedfordshire, for Hertfordshire, northern home counties tomorrow. But elsewhere, I think it will stay dry. And if we do see any brightness, and it's most likely, I think, for central, for southeast, areas of the capital perhaps Kent and maybe over Essex for a time then perhaps 17 or 18 degrees so that will feel really quite nice and it's another mild night on Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday I think there will be more in the way of cloud maybe a few brighter spells around through the morning but the clouds thickening again into the afternoon but it's still mild the winds are still very light again on Thursday 14 to 16 Celsius as we go through the afternoon but then it's all changed as we head through Friday because we've got a cold front just sinking southwards and east Eastwards. It's going to introduce more of a northwesterly wind and some much chillier feeling air, as you can see on our air mass chart here. And we're going to be keeping that as we head through the weekend. So here's the outlook as we head through the rest of the week, then 18, then 16, back down to 12. But we'll see those figures through the morning. It will turn colder by the afternoon. Nighttime frost over the weekend, some showers on Saturday, but dry brighter on Sunday. OK, Elizabeth, thanks ever so much. And that is it. But, you know, you can always find lots more on our website and social media. Everything from London's new battery powered train to the rare Beatles record found in a charity shop auctioned for a pretty penny. Have a look from all of us on the team. Thanks very much for watching and whatever you're up to. Enjoy your evening. Bye bye.